Hello friends, today we are going to talk about a creature which never stops to fascinate us. Uh, they are omnipresent, they are available in all sizes, they are available in all weather conditions. They can fly, they can swim, they can glide, they can jump, they can hop, they can run and what not. So we basically want to talk about a creature which is called as the feathered bipeds. Feathered because they have got the feathers and biped because they have got two legs. So I think you have got it right. You have guessed it right. Yes, I'm going to talk about birds. Now, just look around, just go out of your house. You, you get to see birds everywhere. They're all around us. They're all around human habitations. You go to a forest, you get to see some kind of birds. You go to a mountain, you get to see different kind of birds. You go to a uh, ocean, there are birds uh, who are swimming in the in the ocean. You, you go to a snow clad area, there are birds who are living in the snow clad areas also. And you, they come in different sizes. They are very tiny birds like hummingbirds who are uh, not more than the size of our thumb. And on the other hand, you have got the huge size birds like ostrichs, uh, which can even carry a human being. You can ride on it. So birds are very, very fascinating. And if you look at their the color patterns, you, the, there's no color in, in our spectrum of which there's no bird available. You, you take violet, you take indigo, you take green, you take uh, yellow, orange, red, blue. Every color bird is available in this world. And they're very, very important creature. You see... Birds are very close to human beings, very close to mammals because they are very similar to us in, in their physiology. They have the warm-blooded character. That means they can regulate their own tem body temperature. And they, you see, they are very useful or they are very beneficial to us. For example, you are doing some crops and birds are actually girding them because they do eat the pest. They do eat the insect who actually come to, to consume your, your crop. So that way they are they are useful then birds help in pollination because when birds fly from flower to flower their wings actually carry the pollens and then it helps in in fertilization of the plants and it helps in in the pollination process and that's why we get the fruits then coming to different other pests say for example there are rats there are mice who, which are harmful to our agricultural field which are harmful to our household products to our uh, different storage houses and those are killed by birds like owl and then there are also birds who eat snakes and other uh, creatures which can harm human being but of course the all snakes are not harmful but that's the part of the food chain so in a way they are doing a great service to human being but unfortunately we fail to understand the value of birds and what we do we we try to either control them or we we try to kill them two days back there was one unfortunate incidents in the Barpeda district where somebody actually poisoned and a whole lot, lot of birds actually were, were killed and this is not only one one type of bird from a small bird to large size birds many different types of birds were killed and this is really ridiculous and this is really very very harmful to nature it's not only the bird those kind of poison may actually kill many other creature in this world so we have to be careful about that like probably some birds have have destroyed the crops but then you also have to mind that birds are also guarding your crop like there are pests there are uh, rat and mice and other animals who are unknowingly damaging your crop and birds are actually protecting your crop from all those enemies so that's how birds are our friends so we have to really take care of them and if you look at our ponds if you look at the wetlands all the wetland birds all the ducks they, their excreta is extremely helpful for the ecosystem it helps in fertilizing the, the water body and the plankton growth increases that is why if you if you go to any big bill where migratory birds are coming you will see that those bills are very rich in fish production also because of those birds excreta and also birds go deep into the water they try to eat something in the mud and in that process they uproot many of the like submerged um, vegetation and they also kind of stare the whole water body the whole uh, bottom of the water body and it helps in the whole uh, like nutrient cycle maintenance of the water body so it is humble appeal to all of you that 
uh, please do take care of bird habitat don't destroy bird habitat don't destroy bird nest don't disturb them don't unnecessarily use bird call to call them and and photograph them don't kill birds and don't even try to scare them away because they also have equal right as human beings on anything on this planet so with these words with these humble appeal i hope you have understood the importance of bird thank you very much Thank you.